Well, hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Blair Lamb and I make videos about all the different parts of my life. I thought we would do a fun little weekend vlog. It's a Friday morning, it's about nine o'clock. I just finished my workout, which was from eight to nine. It was a really hard one. I burned like over 500 calories, which is on the very upper end of what I ever hit. Um, I just track it on my Apple watch. So I am, it was a lot, it was really good. It was really good, a good workout and um, I'm gonna head over to my office now. I brought a change of clothes and then I'll shower this afternoon. But I brought a change of clothes just so I'm not in sweaty clothes. I have a few orders that I want to package up and a few things I wanna do over at my office. And then we have um, a nice relaxing weekend plan. We have a couple of things we might do tomorrow, but we haven't for sure decided that yet. And I actually, um, I never, I very rarely do this. In the cold of winter, I will do this, but... I usually don't at this time of year, but I ha I made a hot coffee and put it in like a thermal mug um, to have after my workout. I'm trying to get some water in first, but it's always nice to get to my office and answer emails with like a nice hot cup of coffee. Hopefully it's still pretty hot. Let's see. Mm. Oh, that's yummy. It's not, I like my coffee and tea, like any hot drink, I like it piping hot. It's one step below that, but I, I will, I will take it. Um, we got back from our California trip on Monday night. Well, it was really Tuesday morning at like 2 a.m. and it's Friday now. So it's been a week of catch up, getting back into the swing of things. I have a lot to do around the house. So I'm going to try to get work at my office wrapped up for the day and then head back home because we have laundry to do. I still need to finish unpacking. I did order like fresh groceries and we had those delivered yesterday. Um, and the kids are at school this morning. So then I'll go get them this afternoon. And um, we just... There's a lot coming up. Next weekend is the kids' joint birthday party because they're both turning a new year this month. Colin will be turning three. My baby's gonna be three and Nora will be five, which also feels like a really big one. So I've got that to plan. Um, I mean, I've started planning it, but I've got that to like work on. I need to do the food is the main thing. That's the, really the only thing I haven't worked on yet. Also, my parents are coming to town for that event. Um, and so, I probably need to make like a really good to-do list <laughs> because there's a lot on my mind and a lot swirling around in my thoughts. But it's been honestly a pretty good week getting back into the swing of things. I actually really dislike the week after vacation because not only am I feeling sad that I'm no longer on a trip, but also everything feels like double as much work and so overwhelming. But I will say that this week it's not been that way. It's been pretty smooth and pretty okay um, for the most part. So anyway, welcome to my weekend and I'm so glad you're here. I'm starting off my work day today with something that I've never done before that's pretty fun. So I have these little stickies. Um, so let's see if I can grab one. And so what I'm gonna do is for the month of October, set that on there and then peel the top part off. I am going to include one of these with every order these cute little gummies some of them are these little halloween ones and some of them are just like the regular ones so i'm just gonna stick it oh that's so stinking cute so everybody who orders in this month of october will receive this in their package which i think will be really cute and fun um just to say happy halloween from blair lamb design so I'm gonna go ahead and do probably this bag worth. Um, I think I have 250 of these things. So I'll just send them out while supplies last, but let's get at least this bag done. Um, there's 45 in there and then I can re-up as needed. Okay, and I've just finished up the last two. So I've got lots in there to work with. And then like I said, I can always refill it as I run out of them. I've been on a major smoothie kick lately, which is funny because usually only when it's, you know, the heat of the summer or spring or whatever, but like for whatever reason, I've been doing smoothies. So I just got home from work and I'm gonna have a smoothie as part of my lunch, probably the main part. So it is a protein yogurt and then strawberries, frozen strawberries, frozen bananas, frozen spinach, and then a splash of light pineapple juice. So it will blend 
and this is like my favorite, most delicious. I love it. Um, really, really love it. So I'll link the protein yogurt I use below. It has 28 grams of protein, which is a lot. Um, so it definitely keeps me full, which I love. Here it is all blended up. The retro daisies match my retro mauve pink laminate counters. So gorgeous. Um, I'm going to enjoy this and maybe make a little sandwich to go with it. Okay, just ate some lunch. I'm going to clean up the kitchen, empty the dishwasher, and just get the kitchen in order before the weekend, and then hopefully fold some laundry and just generally pick up the house. Okay, that took a while. I'm like very sweaty. I need to go take a shower and rinse off. I paired my headphones with our TV because we just got an Apple TV, um, which is like a Roku or a Fire Stick. It's not like the actual TV. It's like a streaming platform kind of, well, it's not a streaming platform. It's like a hub, a streaming hub. Is that what you call it? Anyway, Riley had been saying that he wanted one because we have, a lot of different things in our house set up through the Apple home thing and he wanted it to be like all integrated and I was like yeah that's great it has been so nice because usually I watch something on my phone or on my iPad when I'm cleaning and I'm like moving it all around the house but it was just on this huge TV so I was like over here folding laundry and I could look up and see and like it was just really nice I'm like this is very nice I really like it. It's also so much faster than our Roku. Our Roku takes, our Roku probably took about four times as long to like click through and get to Netflix or whatever. I don't know why that is. Maybe our Roku was out of date. It probably was. But anyway, all that to say, our house is very picked up. It looks so much better than it did a few minutes ago. Um, so I'm glad to have that. I've got laundry going. I washed all of Charlie's bedding. I unpacked my mom had shipped the kids' birthday gifts here. And so I put them away in the guest room because they're going to come for the kids' birthday party next weekend. So she can wrap them or I can wrap them or whatever. I just wanted them out of sight so that the kids wouldn't see them. And then I also got the kids' Halloween costumes, which Colin is going to be Peter Pan and Nora is back to wanting to be Tinkerbell. She had taken a hard left there for a second and wanted to be Wendy, which I was fine with, but then she actually now wants to be Tinkerbell again, so we're going with Tinkerbell. Um, so I have those here. I wanna try those on them this weekend and make sure that everything fits okay um, so that we're you know a couple, few weeks out from Halloween if we need to make any adjustments. I also just was in touch with my friend Kelsey and we were gonna do dinner tonight together. Um, I texted her to see if they had any plans tonight. She was like, no, we're just planning on eating tacos. And I was like, we're planning on eating tacos. So she said, why don't you come here? So we're gonna bring some of our taco stuff and combine it with some of their taco stuff and go over there and eat dinner. And they have two kids, our kids ages, so they all play really well together. So that should be really fun. Just a nice way to unwind on Friday night, hang out with friends and just have a nice time together. So we're gonna go do that. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say. It just feels good to have our house reset. I really love going into the weekend with our house feeling 
pulled together clean fresh because I think it's so nice to wake up on a Saturday morning and like make pancakes or whatever in a clean kitchen and be able to put on like my favorite pajamas tonight and like all of that I've always really really loved having clean house any day of the week, but particularly on the weekends. When Before we had kids, I used to do a lot of cleaning on Friday and um, having it so that it would be like really reset before we went into the weekend. And then if you remember, it would be like frat house kitchen Mondays. That was my joke where the house on Monday would be pure chaos. Um, so anyway, that's what I've been up to this afternoon has been cleaning up. I am like really sweaty. Like my bra is like soaking wet from sweating as I like moved around and did all this. So I'm going to go take a quick rinse off shower before we go over to our friend's house because I feel really gross right now. Just put on some light makeup, some jewelry. I don't, I'm like from the gym. I don't have anything on. Um, and that's what we're going to do tonight. So Friday night, love a Friday night. <laughs> Howdy, little lady. <laughs> I just set up our calendar for next week and Colin's birthday is on Friday. So I did this. So exciting. Well, hello and happy Saturday, everyone. It is a glorious Saturday here in North Texas. We have spent a lot of time outside and just enjoyed the day, the morning. Um, we had plans on potentially going to the aquarium this this like now this morning slash afternoon but we decided not to because our kids are just out of sorts right now I think I actually don't know <laughs> I have a few things that I think might be contributing but their behavior is kind of all over the place and we just don't need to be going on a day trip so we're doing just a low-key day at home today and um, we watched a movie and we had a breakfast together and we're just hanging out and it's been actually really nice. So no big deal, but we can always do that like next, well, probably not next weekend because we have plans, but, um, so at some point, at some point. So that's what's up. Um, I finished a book this morning and started a new one. I started a psychological thriller. Mm, can't think, I think the author's Mary Rubica don't know can't remember the uh, name of the book it's like purple and black or something um all of those psychological thriller books end up having like very similar names I feel like so I will let you know what I think about it I'm only in the first chapter so I don't know yet Okay, let me see. Can you turn around so I can see your wings? And smile. Oh, these are very cute. And, oh, bless you. Let me see your cute skirt. Oh my gosh, you're a perfect Tinkerbell and it's very twirly. And let's see the shoes. And these are just little puffs with little clips and I just attached them onto there. So she could have tink shoes for Halloween, but then we can take these off and she can wear these cute little gold shoes throughout the holiday season and whatnot. It is a very, very cute outfit. We'll put your hair up in a perfect Tinkerbell bun. Colin, who are you for Halloween this year? Peter Pan. You're Peter Pan? Yeah. Oh. You ready to change out of it? Mm -mm. You wanna wear it? Yeah. You gotta tuck it into your belt. Why? So we can see your belt. There you go. It's a one Well, hello and happy Sunday. We just got back from church. We had a nice smooth morning of getting up and getting ready and going to church. Everyone got a really good night's sleep last night, but yesterday was rough. I had plans to film so many different things I've been working on. Um, I've been working on getting ready for the kids' birthday party, which is next weekend, and just all kinds of things, and there was just none of that happening. Really, I think my kids were just like super exhausted and they hadn't gotten a really solid night's sleep in a few nights. I think the transition of having us you know, gone last weekend for the long weekend and my mom be here and like just all of that, they just finally, it caught up to them. And they, yesterday they were both completely exhausted. <laughs> and when they're completely exhausted, you know, behavior is not usually ideal. 
Um, but they just went on a golf cart ride with Riley, so I thought I would show you. I made up these little adoption certificates using a template I found online on Etsy. I can link it below um, for their birthday party. So their birthday party, I'll cover up the bottom part with the personal information, but it is so cute. So this is what it looks like. Join us for a magical day. Nora is turning five and Colin is turning three. And then if I cover up the top part, you can see what the bottom design looks like. It's very, very cute. And then there's like a little princess and a little knight. So it's like dragons, fairy tale, unicorns, really cute. So um, they're still super happy to do a joint birthday party. I love doing a joint birthday party because it's, I'd rather just put all my eggs in one basket, so to speak, and just have like one bigger party than have to do it twice. And we still make it really special for both of them on their actual birthdays. And also at this age, all of their friends are the same. Like we would invite the exact same group of people. And I feel like it's a lot to ask for people to come two weekends in a row or whatever it would be. Cause our kids' birthdays are, you know, so close together in terms of the whole year. So that's what we're doing. So we have rented a bouncy house. I hired a face painter for a couple of hours to do like unicorns or butterflies or dragons or princessy things on, you know, on each kid they can choose or whatever, honestly, whatever they want. But those are kind of like the themed options that she's going to have available. And then I ordered a huge box of stuffed animals and half of them I ordered unicorn unicorns and half of them I ordered dragons and so then each kid will get to choose one and name it and sign it with their cute little adoption certificate here and then they will um I got these really cute little like carrying cases and they'll get to put them in the carrying case and that will be their party favor but also it will be an activity during the party um so I think that's really going to be the only activity you know we'll blow out candles and sing happy birthday to both of them and they can open presents and things like that. But between the face painting and then that will be like a hands-on activity for the kids doing the whole adopt a dragon, adopt a unicorn thing. Um, and then the bouncy house, I think that should be great. And so I just ordered a bunch of food from our local grocery store last night, like party platters of sandwiches, cheese and fruit, vegetables, spinach and artichoke dip, all kinds of things like that. And I ordered cupcakes from the bakery because I just don't have the bandwidth right now to, I mean, it's like just our friends in our neighborhood plus our family members, it's 50 people. Um, and m most of, well, I'll, like half our kids and then half are not, but either which way, it's just like a lot of people. I just don't have it in me right now to, to be creating food for 50 people. So we're having it in the early afternoon after lunch. So hopefully people have already eaten lunch and it's before dinner, but I still am always going to offer food at a party. So we're doing like light to heavy hors d'oeuvres, something like that. I think it'll be just having some refreshments for people will be good. So anyway, I worked on that yesterday, I placed the order for the bakery, placed the order with the deli counter, um, did these adoption certificates. I've been like kind of working on all of that. And I wanted to share that with you yesterday, but I could not because it was really not a good day, honestly. It was just, it was hard. It was really hard. The behavior was really hard because they were both so tired. So we ended up doing bath time around six o'clock and dinner and then bedtime around seven o'clock. And they slept all the way through the night and they are, they woke up in the best moods. You know, like I feel bad. Like when kids are overtired and they, they don't have that peace in their mind yet where they're like, oh, I need to get some sleep because I'm falling apart. They just keep going and I like feel bad for them because they keep going into complete chaos. And then we're all, like after I did bath time with them, Riley was doing dinner, which we usually do it the opposite way, but it just, that's how it worked out yesterday. I just went and sat outside <laughs> and I was just staring. I was sitting out front. I was just staring at our house and Riley came out and he's like, are you on the phone? I was like, no, I don't even have my phone with me. I didn't have, I just was staring at the house because I was so overstimulated from dealing with the chaos. Anybody who knows, knows like when you've got kids who are overtired, that is the hardest time to be their parent because you're trying to maintain your emotional regulation when you kind of just want to scream and be like, get your pajamas on and get in bed. But like, that's not highly effective. So it's this whole thing. Anyway, so that was yesterday. Today's been so much smoother so far. So like I said, we got up, we did breakfast, went to the, went to church. Um, and then we 
got back here just a moment ago. I'm gonna go like put my hair in a ponytail and put on a t-shirt. Um, and then Riley just took the kids on a golf cart ride because he loves doing that. And he was like, do you wanna come? And I'm like, no, I think I'll stay back. I just need a little breathing room. Um, so that's kind of, that's the story. I don't know if you can tell, like, <sighs> I just showed you all this time lapses of cleaning up the whole house and like, here we are yet again. Now I will say I just finished folding the final um, basket of clothes from the dryer. So I'm gonna put all of those away today that are on that front table. But all of this, like, and you can't even see the half of it. It's, it just is a part of life right now. And the kids, I will say, are getting better about cleaning up when we ask them to, but it just, that's it. So happy Sunday. Okay, for lunch, I'm gonna try these. Um, we just got them from Walmart. I bought them a couple weeks ago and I didn't eat them, but I think Riley and Nora did and they loved them. So I just gave Nora a couple. Then there's one left and I'm gonna try three and see where we where that gets me. But and hi. Do you like these dumplings? Yes. Yeah, they are really yummy. Pop them. So I'll let you guys know. These are absolutely delicious. And then I just looked at the nutrition facts. You can get, eat the whole tray for 250 calories. Now, they're pretty high in sodium, but I feel like 250 calories for a whole tray of dumplings is pretty good. What? Do you need to go out? Oh, okay. You see this? <laughs> this is why I spent time on Friday because I had to start off the weekend with it not being so crazy. <clears throat> The kids are with Riley. He took them to their grandma's house so I could have some downtime because he's going to go watch the football game this evening with his friends. So I'll be alone for bedtime, which is fine. And I appreciate him giving me a few hours to the house, you know, in the house alone just to rest and relax since I'll be by myself this evening doing dinner and bed and bath. Um, so I'm going to put on a TV show and do that little thing I was doing the other day where I listened to it. Um, on my headphones and that way I can like move freely throughout the home. And I think I'm gonna watch that new romantic comedy series called Nobody Wants This on Netflix. I've heard so much about it. So I think that's what I'm gonna put on. Okay, Netflix. I just watched this Love on the Run jailbreak the other day. True crime, wild. All right, let's watch this and see what we think. I've heard it's very, very cute. Good morning and happy Monday. It's time for me to wrap up this weekend vlog. I just made a nice cup of coffee. The kids are up, it's still early. Just took, took Charlie out, just all the normal like morning activities. Um, I'm tired, I have a headache. I feel like I just didn't sleep super soundly last night or something, story of my entire life. Um, I really think that there's like some hormonal changes that happen around my age and they are hitting me hard and fast. <laughs> um, but anyway, I am going to finish my cup of coffee. I'm gonna get dressed. I'm going to the gym this morning for a workout. The kids are gonna to go to school. Then I'm gonna pop over to work and get some work done. I have some really exciting designs coming soon to my shop. And we just released the October Tea of the Month, which is $20 shipped within the United States. And it's really cool. It's This shirt is a pepper comfort colors tea, so it's like a, deep gray color and then it has this really cool design of skeletons holding Mickey Mouse balloons and kind of like dancing around with them. So it would be a really fun shirt for this month of October and we're shipping them out very quickly. So go and check that out if you would like to grab one. I'll put a picture in here so you can see what they look like. Um, and then I also am working on a Disney Cruise Line inspired capsule collection and it is going to be so fun. I really can't wait for that one. So that's going to be coming out shortly as well. I've been working on it literally every single work day. So 
cheers to Monday morning. I hope you had a wonderful, restful weekend. We had a nice weekend around these parts. I appreciate you being here and I will see you on the next one. Bye.